Here are five more games. <clears throat> yes, I said it. Five more motherfucking games that might make a comeback in 2018. So how you tell by your health is by your engines. If you only have one, uh, you only have one light basically coming out of your engine. That means you only have one life left. Ah, oh, I did good though. On to the next game though. This is the first one, Space Wars. See you guys with the next one. Taming Dreams is another game on this list because this game is fucking beautiful. It's gonna make a comeback this year. Because uh, 2017, it kind of fell off of being extremely story heavy and really low on action. Um, but I feel like it's gonna come back this year because a lot of games are coming out with these type of graphics, which are pretty beautiful. Um, games like Alchemica. Uh, and stuff like that are using graphics such as these. Uh, it's hard to explain. This shit is lit though. Don't get me wrong. Enjoy this game quite a bit. 
This game is extremely text heavy though. It's just a lot of stories. Really in depth with the story. The story is beautiful. But um yeah, the only reason why this game is on this list is because, like I said, the artwork is great. And uh, last year, it just kind of got uh, thrown off. This is more of a PC game remake. Um, but last year, the game got thrown off big time. People were just weren't into the story. It was just too long. It's kind of like Minecraft story mode. The only reason why people play that is because it's Minecraft, and that is pretty much it. <laughs> I guess the story in that game is great as well. Not really. I don't follow the Minecraft pocket story at all. But Taming Dreams, without further ado, let's stop talking about other shits and other things and plays this one's. I'm not going to read the dialogue because it's extreme. All right, so this is what the battles look like. First battle, end key. It's kind of like a taming monster game as well, like Pokemon of some sorts. Let's use X to see what the fuck. It's creepy. Yeah, not bad of a game. Like these graphics and everything, the background plays all kind of like a Chemco game. We're just gonna give him ecstasy, a whole bunch of it, make him wanna fuck both of us for some weird reason. We tamed an R monster. Alrighty. So yeah, kind of a good game. In a way, kind of beautiful. Um, but needs a lot of work. But uh, without further ado, I guess you can say on to the next game. Um, next game on this list would be the only one game i've played a lot should probably be on nostalgic gaming i should probably make another episode of this um do a long play of just this alone i've gotten like up to the jelly king and uh some other shit too i think there's a jelly queen as well so the basic premise of the game is what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to be the only one left standing on this little circle round pillar um you have various enemies that do various things so that jelly basically when his eye starts glowing that means it's about to pounce on your ass um 
And you also get these coins, which you can use to upgrade your abilities right here. You have pretty satisfying amounts of abilities. Um, these guys right here are just Batmans. They block with uh, the first attack, the prison guards or whatever. There's some people with shields. You can get shields in this game. Um, the game does keep track of your le levels, your progress. You don't want to fall off the edge yourself because you'll die. Um, there are some cool, neat features on here. Um, why I feel like this game is going to make a comeback is because um, it has a Flappy Bird on here the other day. And you can just kind of beat him and pounce him around. It's kind of funny. Um, but Flapping Bird is on here. So we're going to go with the Freeze ability because it's always been my favorite. Always work. You can always go back and buy another ability. Just because you didn't buy the other ability doesn't mean necessarily you can't do it anymore. Um, but yeah, there are also these things called sacrifices. Uh, basically saying um, this face in the middle of the thing will start glowing. And this whole arena will start glowing. And it's like this deathgasm shit. And uh, it's fucking crazy looking. Um, but yeah, that's basically why I feel like this game is going to come back. Because it's extremely fun. Very nostalgic and... This game, it, 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 be, it gets really addicting. It becomes seriously addicting at some point. Like, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. It's lit. It's pretty fucking lit. There are uh, little elf men too, like little magicians. If you kill them, they drop like a lot of gold, but they, they know teleport, so they're hard as hell to kill. But uh, anyways, on to the next game. And fuck this game. I really don't feel like playing this shit. So on to the next game. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, game 3 of their third game I think is going to be um, a comeback on this list. And these are all rated. Chimp Pack 1. Now we're playing Chimp Pack 1 Chuck's Adventure. Reminds me of Chuckle's Adventure. Um, but the reason why this game is on this list is because it's an action adventure game somewhat. Kind of like Bejeweled in a way. Um, with more adventure. And it's kind of like a 3D 2.5D format this game plays in. Um, but the reason why this game is on this list and I feel like it's going to make a comeback in 2018 this year is because last year, a few years ago when this game came out, it wasn't really all that exciting. Nobody really played the game. It was kind of awkward and awful in a way. And it confused you, making you think it, it was more 3D, but it really wasn't. Um, this game was made by the people who also made Crazy Hedgehog before they took that off of the Android market, as well as Mole Karts and Castle Wars. But this game is more accommodated with uh, Kraken Land. And a Super Flynn 64. So this game has a high, high, high expectations, but it never really lived up to them. So we're just gonna play, get into it. I'm gonna show you what I mean by this game. Uh, this game is like a bejeweled action shooter game, kind of in a way. Yeah, the goal is to try to jump um, to the next spot. Uh, you have to be as careful as possible because everything works for you in this game. But yeah, that's basically the premise of the game. That's what it is. That's basically all it is. Chimpact. One. There's a few of these Chimpact games. I like Chimpact too, I guess. Alright. Got 
so yeah, that's basically it about this game. I think this is the third or the fourth game. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure this is the fourth game on this list. Might be the fifth, actually. I'm pretty sure this is the fourth game. Um, the fifth game on this list is going to be something else. Uh oh. Yeah, I didn't make this one. This one was kind of hard. Nope, can't do it. Alrighty, on to the fifth and the last game. Hope you guys enjoy. Last but not least on this list of five more games that are going to be hopefully making a comeback in 2018 and why I think they are going to be making a comeback in 2018. Honorbound is one of them. Honorbound is a very, very, very old game. About as old as Battle Loot. You know, they're kind of the same game in a way. <laughs> not great, Bound. Anyways, the reason why I think this game is going to make a comeback is because this game is fucking awesome. Like, this game is it's lit. It's been around for so long. It's low MB. Um, it does require internet connection. But, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of people play this game. Believe it or not, a lot of people have played this game. Millions. The game just isn't... It isn't bad, but it isn't the best game out there right now. But I know it's going to make a comeback in 2018 because... Well, I see that a lot of these old school games are actually starting to really uh, really get more stars on the Android market and are starting to play a bigger role with that, uh, which I think is very exciting. But yeah, this is Honor Bounds, last but not least and shit. But the real reason why I want this game on this list is because I like Honor Bounds. Um, I was going to do an LP on this one day. Um, after I got through LP and Dragon Slayer for the SNES, but I never got to either two, either both, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah. That's why I'm gonna try some new some new shits. But I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this gameplay. This is the last game on this list. I hope you guys enjoyed this pack. If you guys have, make sure to like subscribe, give me some feedback when we come out with more content, game packs, game reviews, LPs, all that shit, anime reviews, anime episodes. Uh, live streams, face cams. We're gonna be doing that face rig shit in a minute. I'm gonna show that off one time with you guys. That shit is funny as hell. Finally ported that over to the from the PC over to the Android. But yeah, we're about to get into this. Hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys with more shits. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and leave something in the comments below.